Here we go. It's very good. First time. And it's solid. Yeah. Great. Yes. So, it's rock solid. And I've heard that you should never do it in the middle of the strip. Always solder on the outside, never in the middle of the circle. So this is a 4 amp glass axial fuse. Nej, det funkar ingen bra längre. Mm. So I think people need to. So this is a 500 amp, 12 volt DC solenoid, which I'm using to switch on the current coming from the battery. This is 17 amp hour, and uh, here I have the switch. I'm feeding that one. You see them here from another battery just so that this function won't be disturbed by the the short circuit that is that I'm enabling when I'm pushing this so just to be safe and what else do we have we have uh, this is coming from the battery and goes to this one two and a half millimeters uh, square and it works you just have to uh, adjust them sometimes but it's easy to replace them with this sugar piece we call them Sweden and I have uh, I think this is 10 10 square millimeters cable I need a little bit bigger of this but uh, I cut away some of the strands so anyway it works to spot weld the pieces here you see them but I did try out to do some 0 0.15 I think this is 8 8 millimeter pure nickel strip It's supposed to be pure but I couldn't get this to get stuck no, I, I did get it to stuck, but it didn't stuck well, so I left that, that idea. So anyway, there you have it, the cheap spot welder using sort of car, car battery style, but this is not a car battery, it's, it's, a, it's a motorcycle battery. Well, I'm running a copper bus bar here. It's a uh, cardel we say in Swedish, I think you say strand in English, that I've just bent and uh, soldered the fuses. This is 5 amp, uh, it's 4 amp on, uh, on one of them, the first one I did, might be this one actually, but this one are 5, 5 amps. I thought I would uh, 
we'll see how if they if they will hold or what so there you have it <coughs> this side same style fuses on the on the plus no fuses on the negative I'm using the wire from leftovers of this uh, they are pretty well uh, uh, conductors so only fused the positive I know some of you fuses even the negative but that's to overdo it in my opinion <clears throat> and I, I wanna do a shout out for the one that inspired me to do this and it's uh, his ideas Dorky Wind do it yourself battery spot welder Thank you for the idea, it works great, except it didn't work on the pure nickel strips for me, but can't have it all, right? Okay, thanks. I'll link it in the description below. So here I'm gonna put a cable shoe, cobble screw as we say in Sweden, and uh, now I'm just gonna make it stuck the bus bar a bit better by using this hot glue to firm it up a bit more but the cable to the hot glue is so short so I can't reach well you get, uh, you get the idea <laughs>